Okay guys, so today we're going to have another Clash of Class 2D. So hey guys, my name is GM Toots and welcome back to another Clash of Clans 2D tutorial. So today um we're going to have um the part two of the barracks. So um if you missed the other one, here's the you know there's a card up here, right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the card also the link for the previous previous um, episode of the Clash of Clans 2D. So, okay, so it's been a while. Uh, yeah, uh, many months, many months ago. Um, yeah. Okay, so so the last time that we make is the barracks, of course, the train and the and all the stuff. Okay, so we're waiting, waiting for uh, you know. We're going to run the game because we're going to review all of the stuff. Okay, so yeah, I just edited all of this. Um, okay, I'm gonna fix that soon. Okay, so I just fixed the bug uh, of the tab. You know, yeah, you know, I can click anything. You know, unless I can close. I'm going to put the link of the of the project in the description so you can guys um, you know on track in the tutorials so so you can not miss what I put the all of the codes you know just fix the bug and all the stuff it's gonna be cool so here here in the barracks is the part one right I just put the troops and everything and all the stuff is the part one so the part two will be um, here as you can see it's a window yeah, it's like like a panel or something. This is where we, this is where we train all the troops and and transfer to the army camp. Well, that's the part two. So we're going to make a train here, and of course we're going to make the you know meter, you know here, a meter. Oh yeah, it's a control where we can cancel the train or the time, the time which is training you know time of the training of the barbarians archers and all that stuff okay so then we can x that and we exit the barracks okay so that is so that is the bug uh, i of course i found a bug of the dialogue because um yeah when when the dialogue is stay up here um it makes the computer slow uh, the performance will be slow and we're going to put that render but we'll do that soon S okay so here I have the the panel right over here which is 442 and 289 and also the exit part because you know I I remove the exit part here so you know it gets separated and of course these two of course the train with the 25 elixir also 50 elixir okay so let's start so here the train um go with the create event because you know that's where we create all the variables and stuff everything so so here the code of course we use the code we'll in here code we'll say press is equal to false always because we will check this every time if the pre if you want it to press or not. Because, for example, if if I had the button already press, you can't press it again. You know? it depends on the press here, the variable. Okay, so here we're going to say left press. Well, the basic stuff first. Because the press is shoot. Okay, so draw event draw here and we're going to go to draw. Okay, of course, um, here in the GUI, just show the box panel. So the depth is ni negative 999, and here's the sprite. So we're going to create and say show is equal to false because we never we never click the train troop button yet. So here if object GUI barracks window open is equal to true. So go to object GUI and go with the create create event and here we got um, here barracks window open is equal to false. Um here uh, 
don't mind this guys because I'm going to give you the project file so don't worry don't mind that don't mind that so yeah sh you shouldn't mind this all right okay so let me exit that okay so after that barracks window open is equal to true because we press the we press the train button which is right here the object train so we press that and now we got we got this so if we press that it will open okay so when we when the object barracks panel showed up of course we will going to create the exit in order to close the panel and destroy is equal to false because this is for rendering okay for, for rendering this is for rendering okay so so we'll do that okay step event if destroy is equal to true instance destroy insta it will be destroyed of course because this is for rendering and if show is equal to true draw sprite sprite box panel image index x and y and you can do that draw self but I rather to to type draw sprite instead you know uh, for advance okay yeah. so here also in the exit part the as you see there's a left press oh yeah the depths 1000 you know okay if barracks panel show is equal to choose so if the panel is showed up and if you press the exit it the this um, you uh, the panel will be destroyed and the barracks window open will be false and instead the exit will be destroyed itself because it's going to create once the panel is showed up okay so here we're going to start in the train barbarian so here we to say if if object ui barracks barracks window open is equal to true um draw sprite um sprite train bar barbarian barbarian um of course image image index x y okay so it will it says draw self we can do that okay so here the left press um, oh yeah so the objects barrack panel here this is where we create our uh, our train itself train bottom okay so instance create x plus uh, what should I put let's go for 78 and y plus uh, plus 48 object um, train train bar barrier ok so that's it um, so we click on that and run the game hopefully hopefully there will be a train barrack ok the compile is right over here it's just minimize you know I don't want I don't want that I can let check. Okay, so we're right here. Uh, press the barracks. And oh, oh yes, the depth. We forgot the depth. So the depth will be 1000. Yeah, if we run the game, hopefully we can see the train barbarian button right now. Hopefully. Okay. So right here, train troops, and as you can see, here we go. But um, we're going to adjust that image, though. We're going to adjust that. Okay. Okay, let's do. It. Also, we're going to make a destroy. Destroy is equal to false. We're going to destroy for the render. Okay, let's go for step event. If pressed is equal to true if we pressed it um object gui elixir i think let's go back to the variable i almost forgot this 
Oh, global that elixir. Okay, okay. Global that elixir minus equal to twenty five. Because it's twenty five. Because twenty five elixir. Okay. Make global elixir. Okay. So if if you pressed it and oh wait, let's put some if expression. So if global that elixir is greater greater equal to twenty five. So let's see global elixir minus twenty five. But n else, if not, we're going to show a message. Message. Uh, not enough elixir not enough elixir to train for a oh wait we're just going to show a message uh, going to remove it yes okay so we got ourselves so if if i press the train barbarian button and if if you have more than 25 elixir or 25 elixir we're going to reduce the 25, 25 elixir and if if I don't have enough elixir um, it will go and show a message which is not enough elixir to train a program easy right? I don't know um, if you're not if you're not in the track right now just go to the settings and and put the speed into s um, slow speed like 0.5 so you can catch up Okay, so if here for the rendering, if destroy is equal to true, instance destroy. Okay, put that for render. Okay, I will do that for the render and go to exit, left pressed, and here we're going to say object um, train. Barbarian, barbarian dot dot destroy is equal to true. Hey, hopefully that will work. Okay, so let's run. Let's run. Uh, yeah, it, it will work. Perfect. Okay, so go to the bar barracks, train troops, and as you can see, not enough elixir to train a barbarian. Okay, so that's a bug because. Okay. So there's a bug because um, the message won't <laughs> won't disappear. Okay guys, so I think I fixed I fixed the bug. Okay, so I forgot the the press variable to set it to false because um, when I do that because oh yeah, I think I need to put it right here. Because af after we you know, we deduct or after the if expression, though I forgot to put the press is equal to false because if if we pressed it and if we're finished if we finish pressing the button of course we'll set it that to false okay so if we run that, that should work okay so as you can see now the message is ignoring now you know the message is disappearing once I press OK not enough elixir to train a barbarian okay so, so we're going to you know s we need 25 elixir so I'm gonna skip this okay so we made enough elixir yeah so let's go to train and if we pressed it oh wait oh right there so it so it you know takes the 25 but there's a bug of the mess still the message okay so right here and let's 25 and okay, so so 
will do that because you know so they get separated you know okay so run it again okay we earned enough again so okay so it fixed nice nice that's nice very very nice okay so we're finished uh training the barbarians and all the stuff we're now finished okay okay so uh, okay i will remove this and insert another let's see object train archer okay so you're in the step event 50 we're going to do 50 Archer. First equal to true. Still. And blah 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 blah. Make this archer. And now between barbarian. Uh, like that. Archer. No event. Step event. Okay, so it's done. Done. Oh, message sequel. We're going to you know, erase that. Go to exit again. Copy. Paste. And Archer destroys equal to true. And draw event. Ah, uh, yeah. And it's still the same. Okay. So now. Oh, yeah. Go to the backs panel. And. Copy. Let's say 48 to Y is mm, 64. And make this 64. Okay. So hopefully that fix. So 64. Let's calculate that. Um, 112. Okay, so we'll make that 118. Okay, so let's run, and hopefully this will work. Okay, so oh <coughs> what? Oh, I forgot. Forgot. I forgot this is supposed to be Archer. Oh man. Ah. Stupid, stupid, me stupid. Okay, so we run it and. Okay, so we got the Archer. You can train an Archer, but it can. We're we don't have enough. Yes! Yes! Now we got it. Okay. So now we got the panel, yay! Okay, so this is the end of our today's tutorial. Um, next up, here we're going now uh, to make a time, a time to train, and we're going to transfer the barbarian to the army camp, which is you're gonna see a barbarian now. Well, not well. The end. Well, we don't have any animation yet for the walking, but we will soon. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys like this video, subscribe, and and like this video, hopefully we get um, 5 likes on this video, and we're going to make the part 3 of the Barbar, uh, Barbar, what did I say Barbarian, Byrax, and I'm going to give you the project file, which is in the description below, hopefully, hopefully you guys see that, and download that on the media fire, because that's my best cloud storage you know uh, it's my favorite not the best okay so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in another tutorial so bye bye guys